My name is Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. I'm a chili head. About eight years ago, I launched a channel, this channel, Chase the Heat. It's better chasing the heat than the dragon. So I decided I'd start a channel. I would try to find the hottest pepper. It's a quest. And uh, recently, I ate the hottest pepper I've ever eaten, and it was a warthog by Matthew Arthur, Phenotype 1. There's two different phenotypes. Uh, and there's been a lot of talk lately. This is me stalling, by the way. There's been a lot of talk. It's like, is it the hottest pepper in the world? It's the hottest pepper I've ever tasted ever. Twice as hot as anything else. Now, was it a rogue pepper? It doesn't really matter, you know? It's the hottest to me. You know what the difference between me and Guinness, the Guinness book is? You can't pay me to say something good about you or about something you've grown. Um, so the peppers that Matthew Arthur has grown, the warthog, is something very, very special. It's, um, it's just a unique pepper. It's, you know, and I've had several really hot ones. One was just absurd. It's one of the few rogue peppers I've ever eaten. Um, you know, I, it was just surreal. It was almost like extract. That's how it burned. So, uh, I got a package in the mail from Matthew Arthur. He's, he's a really generous, wonderful dude. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm a better man for knowing him, and I'm not just saying that. He's a good dude. But what he did was he took a warthog, phenotype one, and uh, he planted it in the middle um, of a group of jigsaws, another pepper, which is a really weird pepper when you cross it in with something else. We've learned that. Um, now, the result is where the three peppers you saw in the thumbnail. This is the result. Now, here's the cool part. The, the, the plant that these three peppers were picked from is the exact same plant as the one that was the rogue pepper that killed me, that stopped me from talking. And that is my superpower. So that was pretty weird for me. So I've talked to Matthew. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these pods in half. And I'm gonna pull a few pods, a few seeds from each of them. And if one of them turns out to be really stupid, crazy hot and rogue, I'm gonna get these seeds back to Matthew and we're gonna grow them again. But um, knowing that they came from the same plant as the one that really lit me up, I think that would be a prudent move on my part. So I'm gonna cut these peppers open first. I'm gonna remove a few seeds from each pepper, put them in a separate pile so I know which one's which. And if one of those, one of these three is hotter than the other, those seeds are going back to Matthew. Here's the first one. Let me pull it in slow and you'll get a better camera view of it. I don't trick the camera that way. See, look at that. All right, here's the first one. I am removing, and by the way, people will say, oh, there's heat in the seeds. He's taking the, the heat out. No, he's not. For those that have watched the channel, okay, I've got six seeds from this one. I pulled it from this corner right here. All right, um, let me put that one down. I'm gonna do the same thing with, here's the second pod. All right, this one has fewer seeds. I'm gonna pull some seeds from right here. Okay. So I have some seeds from the second one. Here is the third one. All right, I'm gonna pull a few seeds from this one as well. All right, now I'm gonna show, I'm gonna take a picture of, just so I can, you can see what I've taken, I've removed from these plants, these pods, excuse me. Now here is the picture 
you'll see this is pod one, pod two, and pod three. So I've removed a few seeds from each of them. I'm gonna eat all three of these right now. So I found a few more seeds from the third one. All right, so here's the first one right now. This, and, this is a Warthog Phenotype 1 cross-pollinated with a jigsaw. Now, normally, like I said, it's a happy accident. This was no accident. Matthew put these in the middle of these jigsaws on purpose to see what would happen. And we're about to find out. My name is Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Okay, the first one was fruity. It was very tasty. A great crunch. I'm gonna wait just a few minutes for each pod just to give it a chance. I wanna make sure if one of these is weird, I know which one it is. The burn is in my throat. It does, did not have the same uh, climb as that rogue one that hurt me. Although this is very hot. Okay, now the, the one that really did a number on me happened so quickly that I would say that that one is, is nothing extraordinary about that. It's a hot pot and it tasted great. And they're gorgeous looking. I mean, they're really, really a pretty looking pot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there was a, that's a hot pot. If it was, if, uh, you know, if you're not a chili head, this would, you know, you'd be freaking out. If you're a chili head, this is probably an eight. Excuse me, here's the second one. Really delicious though. <clears throat> the influence of the jigsaw, they taste good anyway, but those are really taste good. I love the taste of the, the one with the jigsaw mix. <clears throat> I think it's about And this one might be a little warmer than the first one. No, it's about the same. So the first two of the, the two first two of the three were pretty similar with respect to heat. I'm still keeping all these seeds. I'm gonna send these three piles of seeds back to Matthew, regardless of what this third one tastes like. The flavor on them is really, really good. I like the flavor of the Jigsaw, uh, the Warthog, as it is. The Phenotype 1 and 2, they both taste really good, but this one really tastes, it's an improvement on the taste. The Jigsaw really did something beautiful to the flavor of the, of the taste. It's very, very fruity. Here's number three. By the way, my heat right now is probably a four, maybe a five. So if you're not a chili head, you know, you wouldn't get, you know, you wouldn't be talking after the first one. If you're a chili head, Two would be, you'd be at a 10 with these two, I'm sure. The, th the burn is my throat and my mouth, and my lips are actually burning a little bit too. Here's the third one. <clears throat> Here we go.
super juicy, very, very fruity. The flavor, a big improvement on the flavor. The jigsaw, the addition of the jigsaw made it the, the flavor of the pods very, very good. And they were good before, but they're really, really fruity and tasty. My ears are burning. What's missing is the throbbing pulse, like the throbbing heat. I don't really feel that this time. And I have on the previous Warthog uh, Phenotype 1s. And just as I say that, it starts to throb. I thought it was letting off and it just came back on. And it's doing that. Like it feels like it's backing off and then it comes right back. It feels like it's backing off and it comes right back. So it's throbbing a little bit. That is a thing. Wow, it's so cool. I wonder if the first two, if I had stopped at the first two, would I have felt it? Because I didn't really feel the, the pulse anything thing until just seconds ago. That's the weirdest thing. It's like a heartbeat. It goes, it calms down a little bit, then comes back and then does this. Okay, none of them were, were rogue. They're all very hot. Um, they're all very hot. They're, I don't think they, they weren't as hot as, I think this is what happened when the cross with the jigsaw, or the influence of the cross pollination of the jigsaw. I think it improved on the flavor. They taste really, really good. But I think they've lessened in heat. I don't think they're as hot as, they're not as hot as the regular phenotype ones that I've had. I was hoping they'd be hotter, you know what I mean? But, um, excuse me, the flavor was incredible. So if nothing else, I would absolutely want Matthew to keep growing these because the flavor of them is incredible. It's one of the better tasting super hots. It really has a, just a juicy, fruity flavor. Don't kid yourself though, they're really hot. They're just not as hot as that rogue one was. But I'm not sure if I'll ever taste another pepper like that. That was so weird. It, you know, it wasn't, if it was in the very, very first part of the season, like the first super hot of the season, I would say, ah, you know what? It was, you know, my tolerance is down, combination of things. My tolerance is up, it's, it's high right now. So the, the fact that that did what it did was just so weird to me. It definitely has a pulse though. It's really a strange thing. And now the pulse, it started in my throat, now it's on my tongue, my tongue is doing this. Like, it, you'll feel like, it, okay, it's, it's gonna back off, and it comes back, and you feel like it's, it's, like when a pod peaks and starts to come down, that's what it feels like, and it just goes right back up again. It's really interesting. So there was a great, there was an improvement on flavor. The flavor of the jigsaws and the Warthog Phenotype 1 mix together, the flavor is incredible. So it, it's an improvement on the flavor. It didn't improve the heat, so, um, so, but still fantastic pepper. I mean, really, really tasty pepper. Wish I had a dozen more. Uh, but that was a very, very special pepper, um, I think. I think, I, I hope that he keeps growing them because the flavor of them would make such an amazing sauce. It would make a really incredible uh, powder or salsa. That was it, folks. Uh, in the description box, you're gonna see a link from Matthew Arthur. You can get uh, Phenotype 1 seeds. Uh, I think he's, he's sent out all the seeds he's got. He has a lot more uh, Phenotype 1s that are growing. As soon as they're mature enough, he's gonna send the seeds out. So if you've sent him a self-addressed stamped envelope, you're gonna get seeds. Just may take a little while before they, uh, they're ready to be sent. Additionally, next year, you can get Phenotype 2 uh, seeds for free. Matthew is that guy who wants to share his passion. He's a wonderful dude. He really is. All right, so uh, that's it. Uh, in the description box, you're going to see the link to get more to get free seeds from Phenotype 1. Please check it out right here. It is my son, Johnny Scoville Jr. and the Lifeboat. Up on top, we have Pepperology, which is stuff about all new, uh, new chili heads you need to be looking at. Stuff about stories from the cramps, tales from the cramp, from the bus. There's going to be all kinds of really cool stuff in the uh, Pepperology, so check that out. The other one are the 26 hardest challenges I've done. 
If you think you've seen me in pain, if, you, if you're new to the show, you have to look at the, the one on top that says my 26 hardest challenges. You will see some, some crazy stuff. Thank you for hanging out with me. My name is Johnny Scoble. This was Chase the Heat.